All right, guys, welcome back. It's been an eternity, I think, since I've been able to be in the shop. Uh, I finally got the castings back for the uh, post drill press. And uh, I had planned on showing you how to take the pattern apart and turn it back into a usable part. Uh, but unfortunately, my camera was set into photograph mode, so I took some pretty nice stills of kind of nothing happening. <laughs> so, yeah, it's always good to check your settings every once in a while, right? Anyway. Uh, I will show you what I have and uh, how the castings came out and uh, then we're going to box it up and we're going to send it back over to the East Coast and uh, I'm going to send some extra stuff there into the box there for you. So anyway, let's go have a look at it right now. All right, everybody. Welcome back to the old iron shop. So we've gotten all the castings back now and, uh, you know, I've had them for a while here actually, but... Uh, just with work and harvest and everything like that going on at the winery. So I've, I've just been too busy to really get to anything. But anyway, I just want to try to get these parts back to Mr. Evil Twin X. Uh, I actually thought I was shooting film a minute ago, but uh, apparently I had the camera in photograph mode. So I got some nice stills of, you know, nothing. Anyway, so let me just kind of show you what I did. So I had this in here for a cord to plug up this hole and they were supposed to put a uh a sand core in there but i think they forgot and they they just cast it in iron so uh, it's no big deal I'll just drill it out i guess anyway so we popped that out and that came out easy enough and i had uh i had a set screw holding that thing in position so it wouldn't come out while they were working with it and a cork in there so i pulled the cork out pulled the set screw out and that just tapped right out then I'd put some uh, Durham's putty in here, dug that all out of there, it all came out real nice and easy. And on this, this cam lever, I had to make up this thing, and it kind of fit in there like that, you can see. Uh, on my, my drill, this piece needs to be longer. so. That's why I made all that. And of course up here we had to dig out some putty too. And I was I was thinking about like bead blasting this and cleaning it all back down to metal, but uh, all this here is so nice and smooth and everything. I th think, you know, he might want to just maybe clean this up and paint it the way it is. Um, and there, there's some of that putty still in here, but uh, the part looks a lot better than it did, you know, when I first got it. Anyway, same thing here. I had to dig out some putty out of there, but that all just took a couple of minutes. So here's the new parts. You can see how well that came out. Looks just like it. I think that'll work fine. A couple of little, little pinholes down here at the bottom, but uh, it's not a structural problem. The main thing here is that all these gear teeth came out looking really good. Uh, it's kind of funny. You can see right here, there's a little bit of... Uh, I don't know, or it looks, looks like a little bit of sand came out, but I think it actually that was in the original casting. So I could get in there with a file and clean that up. That's easy enough. Uh, this part here comes out looking really good. Uh, just got to grind this flashing off, but it didn't look like it has any distortion at all. I was thinking that, that was going to maybe change a lot. Uh, this lever, this is probably the worst looking one, but only, only just right here. And I don't think that's going to affect the strength of this. This this part doesn't see that much that much pressure. Uh, I can just fill that with a little bit of Bondo before I paint the parts up. So I think that'll be fine. I'm glad that this, this surface right here came out pretty good because that's rides on a bearing or rides on the cam. So, you know, I don't want a lot of inclusions and junk like that in there. I want that to be really nice and smooth. Okay, hardly even any flashing there. That came out really nice. So anyway... I'm going to pack these up in a, in a box and try to get that off to the mail to him. But I'm going to fill them up full of uh, a bunch of other little goodies, things that I think he might be interested in having. Uh, I'm really sorry it took that long to get all these stuff back to you. It's been, geez, almost 11 months, I think, now. All right, guys, so I hope pretty soon I can uh, get this parts all finished out. 
Uh, like I said, I'm in the middle of harvest right now, so I'm working 60 hours a week for the last month and a half. So I got another month and a half to go, I think, too. So anyway, hopefully I can get out here and get some time in the shop. Anyway, uh, if you enjoy these videos, uh, by all means, check the ones that are coming up over here on the side and go check out Evil Twin X's page. He's got some pretty cool stuff. And man, I, I really like his uh, production value. He's really good with uh, whatever whatever editing software he's using. He's, he's got some pretty nice visual effects going on. Anyway, we'll see you guys around.